Welcome to Happy Hour Episode 8. I am here in Echo Park with Casey Lynn Bradley. And, and Olive. And Olive. Special <laughs> guest. Um, we're drinking Cupcake Pinot Rouge. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy Hour. Mm -hmm. okay. Olive wants some too. That's why she's she up here. She can't have any. Not allowed. Not allowed. Um, so Casey is an artist and photographer. We've known each other for a long time now. Um, Too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a while. We'll just go with a while. Um, so, what got you into photography? Um, I took a class in high school, mm -hmm. and I had always drawn um, and like did like painting and stuff, but I never did photography. So my senior year, I had an elective. Sh I had an elective. Um, that I just decided to take a photography course and my teacher was like, oh, you're pretty good at it. I was like, cool. And then I didn't even think about like actually doing it as a job until I got to college and I had wanted to be a 2D animator. Mm -hmm. And everyone in the animation building was like, you can't make a living off of being a 2D animator. <laughs> so it, I was like... It's Challenging. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if they make those types of movies anymore, but um, so I remembered that my teacher was like, oh, you're pretty good at photography. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I'll just give it a try. And then I actually ended up really liking it. So nice. That's, um, that's how I got started. And you went to SCAD like right away. Mm hmm. Okay. It was, um, I applied to two schools, but I knew I wanted to go to SCAD. My family lives down there. Mm -hmm. um, so I had always just wanted to go and I applied early and I got in in like October of my senior year so yeah. I didn't have to worry about anything <laughs> for my entire senior year. It was awesome. pretty great. <laughs> That's yeah. really fun. I remember my my high school math teacher found out that I was going to, you know, an arts Art college school. and she was like, that's good because you're not the sharpest tool in the shed. And then I was like, that's it. I'm in calculus, so I think I'm doing fine. Wow. And then I was like, but I don't need this. I don't need this anymore. Wow. That's funny. High school teachers are funny because once they found out that I was going to art school, for, when I was a senior, all of a sudden, like, grades didn't matter. My literature teacher was like, oh, if you paint a mural in my classroom, you don't have to take any tests or anything. What? <laughs> and so I just got an A in my AP literature class, and uh, it was pretty awesome. That's hilarious. <laughs> Mr. Moderato, if you're watching this. <laughs> hey, Mr. Moderato. <laughs> when you were in the high school photography class, mm -hmm. what was the project that your oh. teacher saw that oh. was like, oh, okay. you, should, you should maybe do this? Um, <laughs> it was a pile of yarn. Really? <laughs> yes. Um, and That's it awesome. got into my senior <laughs> show. It was just a still life of the yarn. And she was like, oh, you she made that yarn look real good. Yeah, she was like, you are really good at com composing, so you should try and go into this. And I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a picture of yarn. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit about your journey into becoming a wedding photographer and a professional photographer, because that's okay. been kind of like... It, what, it was a roller coaster. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> So in college, I majored in photography and creative writing, and I thought that would be a good combo to go into magazines with. Mm -hmm. And when I graduated in 2008, um, all the magazines were folding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so was that fun. wasn't really the best <laughs> career choice. Um, I had interned at a few places like Cosmopolitan and Maxim, but no one was hiring. And so um, I came out to LA to visit my friend Kirsten, and um, I loved it so much. I extended my trip, and I told my mom, I'm going to apply to jobs out there now. And she was like, good luck getting someone to move you out there. <laughs> um, but I happened to find a job as a photo editor here. And for a while, I was OK with just, you know, um, sorry. <laughs> <Right. laughs> for, for a while, I was OK with just editing other people's photos. And then um, I went to my friend's wedding, mm -hmm. and I brought my camera there. And 
my boyfriend was like, oh, the photos you took are pretty good. Did you like taking the pictures there? And I was like, yeah, I did. But it was my friend's wedding, so it was kind of just a party. Yeah. But then I started photographing weddings with um, one of the paparazzi. I worked at a paparazzi agency as a <laughs> photo editor. Um, with one of the guys who used to be a paparazzi, he went into wedding photography, mm -hmm. and um, he kind of took me under his wing. and. I photographed a bunch of beautiful, beautiful Indian weddings. Um, oh yeah, those so, are great. Yeah, they're pretty intense. Yeah, I don't know. There's like elephants and stuff. So um, awesome. It was a good crash course into photographing candid stuff because there's so many people. And yeah. um, then I kind of decided that I wanted to do it on my own. Mm -hmm. And then um, the paparazzi agency closed, and I had already built up sort of a portfolio of yeah. wedding stuff. So I put that on that on the web and on the internet. And um, <laughs> Then, about a month after I lost my job there, I got hired as an assistant for the blog Oh Joy, mm -hmm. and I went into it just thinking I was going to be making a little bit extra money while I was looking for something yeah. full time, and that turned into a full time job, which I'm now able to uh, photograph for her every day. Yeah, it's awesome. They have a book coming out this spring, and Casey did all the photography for the book. It's so pretty rad. Congratulations yeah, on that. Yeah, I'm That's pretty cool. excited. <laughs> um, um, what, for people who aren't familiar with Joy's blog, mm -hmm. what is the content? Well, she is a graphic designer. She was one of the very first design bloggers. She started in 2005. Mm -hmm. So um, she's had a long time to build her audience, and she was one of the first people to um, uh, do the beta testing on Pinterest. Oh, so cool. now she's, <laughs> she is the most followed person on Pinterest. Wow. She's like the Justin <laughs> Bieber of Pinterest. Um, <laughs> So basically anything that you can find on Pinterest is her, her blog. You can find recipes, you mm -hmm. can find DIY, you can find design inspiration, color inspiration. Um, things. Uh, one of her things is to make people happy, like ideas to make people happy, which is what the book is based off of. So. It's just a cheerful, bright, colorful blog. Um, so I was just about to ask Casey what her most challenging project has been and how she navigated that. Um, the most challenging project so far has definitely been the Oh Joy book, but not challenging in like a bad way, yeah. but just challenging in like we had a very short amount of time to do this 250 page book. Yeah, Actually, so I, I think it's like 260 something pages. So up to quarter. <laughs> yeah, we had maybe six months. It started in January. We were, we, January of 2014, we got, um, sat down and started brainstorming, like right in the beginning of the new year, started brainstorming. We only, had a couple months to do that, and then um, my coworker Julia did all the crafts, which was incredibly amazing. Um, and we, you know, some things work, some things don't. It's an artistic process, and mm -hmm. you know, rounds of revisions, and you know, getting other people's opinions and all that. It was just like we had to reshoot stuff, and yeah, um, you know, it once. If you see the book, you'll understand like some projects were a little bit more intense yeah. <laughs> than others. Um, and then we have like a pile of stuff that we never used. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of doing the book, we also had to do content for the blog, yeah. and we had to create new videos. And Joy was pregnant throughout the whole thing, <laughs> so it was a uh, very, very stressful, but wonderfully um, educational experience um, and it came together pretty well I think. So. That's awesome. I'm excited um, to see it. Yeah, I'm also, excited to see it too. <laughs> also, It's Joy, pre-sale now. Check Amazon. Check Amazon. Joy sounds like a superhero. Um, she's amazing. Yeah. And I'm not even like, <laughs> like she knows. I'm not brown nosing her at all. Like she is a superhuman person oh. and um, so sweet. <laughs> I'm very lucky to yeah. work for her, really lucky. Um, and she never, like, 
gets mad. Like, there's so many times where I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like freaking out, or like I made a mistake, and I'm like, she's going to be so upset. And she's like, oh, it's fine. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> she's just so cool. So, yeah, read her blog and keep me uh, employed and mm -hmm. buy the book. <laughs> Do all of that. Do all of those things. <laughs> eat some donuts while you're reading the book. Definitely eat some donuts. Or yeah. some phonuts if you can't eat real donuts. Phonuts. <laughs> I don't know what a phonut is. It's a gluten free donut. It's not as good. Don't, don't eat it. <laughs> or, I mean, if you If you have to. If you have to. What are your hopes for 2015? Um, I want to travel more. Mm -hmm. um, Anywhere specific? Um, anywhere other than LA. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few trips planned, um, but uh, some of them are for weddings, so mm -hmm. I have to work, but um, not that that's a bad thing. Uh, hire work. me for your <laughs> travel work. work. <laughs> I, love, I love having an excuse to get out of town. Um, yeah. So, more travel, um, just working as much as I can, mm -hmm. and um, drinking more wine yeah. with my friends. Sounds good. <laughs> on that note, cheers, and thank you for being on. Thanks for having me. Until next week, guys. Bye. Bye.